Well, I was 98.67% sure that we would get something this week, and uh, we did. I, I was pretty sure that we were going to get a new sighting mission from Harriet, just how the missions were kind of falling in with the free roam, and then we got a sighting mission last week. I'm pretty sure we did, and we did. We got the new Milk Coyote this week. The new Milk Coyote can be caught from Harriet. Well, the sighting mission can, and it's pretty easy. We got some gameplay behind us here, and we got some other good bonuses and new items in the Wheeler Ransom & Co. catalog we're going to look at today. So stick around. Howdy, Cowpoke. Awesome BMXer. Thanks for checking out this week's weekly uh, drip feed newswire update video. We are here and uh, we got some information for you. Thank you so much for everyone for jumping on the channel and supporting the channel. Much appreciated. Our live streams have been a lot of fun and uh, everyone commenting on all of our videos and of course our live streams has been great. So we definitely appreciate it. This week we got the new sighting mission from Harriet, the Milk Coyote. Now I was expecting a sighting mission. I really wanted the bears, unfortunately, but uh, how they, when they, did, well, because they dropped three weeks of free roam animals and kind of fill the free roam you know space full of animals for us to start with and then they dropped a sighting mission last week i was pretty sure we were going to get a sighting mission this week and we did it was either going to be that or the rams are going to come to xbox and pc which i really thought that was going to happen actually that'll most likely be next week now probably the the seventh that the rams come to pc and xbox but we'll have to wait and see for that we do have the new sighting mission though as i stated it is the milk Coyote, it is found near Blackwater, although she's a sighting mission from Harriet, so first time you go to Harriet, it should just be there for you. We went to Harriet, and it was just there. After that, it goes into the rotation after you do it one time. There are a couple bonuses for doing any sighting mission from Harriet this week. Uh, it says speak to Harriet at her shop to get a sighting mission. Uh, anybody who completes a sighting mission in any way, so you can either do a sample or get the hide, will earn 40% off any novice or promising naturalist item. So that's anything low. That could be even the saddle, a uh, low rank horse. I think the wilderness campfire is down there low as well. Um, and then sampling the milk coyote. So if you do this new sighting mission and you get the sample from it, which we don't in this gameplay, uh, you will get an offer for 40% off any distinguished roll item. So that's the highest rank. So. 40% off any distinguished roll item. You could get the, the new Gypsy Cobb rank 20 horse pretty dang cheap if you don't have it yet. So that's pretty good there. So there's a couple good bonuses to do some side missions from Harriet. I know everyone hates her, but you know, she's in the game and has some stuff for us to do. Uh, they brought back some bonuses for the hardcore mode. So we got we had three times gold and XP and cash when the came, when it came out two weeks ago. We had no bonuses at all last week. Uh, this week, if you play any of the modes featured in this week's Hardcore Shootout series, you receive double, double cash, gold, and XP. So that's pretty good. An easy way to grind. It was a lot to grind when it was uh, triple. Double's not quite as triple. You know, it's that's pretty easy math there. But it is pretty easy. You do get double cash, XP, and gold for doing any of the modes in the featured series for the Hardcore series this week. It says, also, players who jump into Red Dead Online this week will receive a reward for a free shirt. So all you got to do is play this week. Log in, do a daily, anytime at all this entire week, and uh, you'll get yourself a reward for a free shirt. Shirts are always nice. Make sure to check out our new merch over in uh, our merch shop. should be linked down in the description. We got a bunch of new stuff that just launched today, so go check it out. Thanks, Rockstar. Uh, we also have uh, the Coyote Pelt can be turned into the new uh, garment, of course, from Gus. Nothing big there. No bonuses from him this week for doing anything with him. Uh, we did have a few things last week, but uh, just uh, nothing from him. No bonuses for selling or uh, any extra stuff when you sell or make a garment from him. Just, you know, you can make the milk coyote into a, a coat, which we do in the gameplay here. Now we do have some new catalog editions and I'm gonna read exactly what it says because it's kind of misleading and I'm not sure uh, exactly what they mean here, but we'll, we'll, we'll get into it a little bit. It says the Wheeler Ransom and Co. catalog adds several new items starting this week, including, so it says the Wheeler Ransom and Co. catalog adds several new items starting this week, 
including. So maybe they're just saying that they're going to be bringing some new stuff to the game over the next few weeks. And uh, starting this week, we have three new items. And it is the barrel, barrel, barrel hat. I think it looks good. It's not too bad. There's a few different colors there. The nice banding it adds a lot of different contrast. So you can do a couple different things with your outfit there. We also have the ink stone hat. This one isn't as flashy, but there are lots of different color combinations here. So you definitely could take advantage of that and make some pretty cool outfits right there. And then we have the fairling jacket. Not feeling this one too well. Again, there are lots of colors. Maybe it looks good with the inkstone hat possibly together if you have some matching colors there. But uh, some new stuff. We have three new things and it looks like we may be getting some new things over the next few weeks if we read into their wording here, which we know how news Rockstar likes to, to make their news wires kind of weird there. Uh, we do have some moonshining discounts this week to go over though, and there's a few of them. So I'm gonna read the news wire so I don't miss them all because they're all kind of, they don't have a list of them. They're all just smashed in this paragraph. It says this week's discounts for bootleggers, players can waive the cost of moving their moonshine shack, uh, take 40% off all novice and promising moonshiner items, and three gold bars off uh, bar themes. So if you're looking to move your Moonshine Shack, and actually I was looking to do that. I've had the Moonshine Shack in the Moin, or sorry, down in the Bayou for a long time. I was looking to move it into some crazy location and uh, just, you know, to do something different when I'm doing Moonshine. So you guys let me know down in the comments, where should I move my Moonshine Shack that's just the craziest place that we could just do some dumb Moonshine missions and and probably ruin a bunch of bottles and, and all that, but it doesn't matter, right? It's all to just change the gameplay for a little while. Uh, it doesn't say how much you get off, though. It says players can waive the cost of moving their Moonshine Shack, comma, take 40% off all novice and promising Moonshiner items. So maybe it's 40% off. Maybe they just word it kind of weird there. We'll have to jump in and see if we can figure that out. Items and three gold bars off the bar themes. So that's good there. And... Also, if you don't have the Moonshine Shack, uh, through this week, it is five gold bars off. So you can get a little cheaper if you don't have the Moonshine. Which I know a lot of people that don't have the Moonshine probably don't have the Trader. And a lot of people are still having that Trader issue where they can't even buy it. So hopefully Rockstar's getting that fixed. Because that's ridiculous. Everybody wants to go in here and play these roles. And if they can't even buy them, then it doesn't work. Of course, we still have the Prime Gaming Twitch Prime benefits of five free Legendary Animal Pheromones, 6,000 Nationalist XP, a free Wilderness Camp, and a free katana coat crafted from the legendary elk hide. Of course, you do need to have the elk to be able to get that for free, I do believe. No, nothing new uh, for PlayStation Plus, um, and no new updates on any fixes or anything that were coming, because we've seen some weird issues in the game over the last week. The lobbies have been really small. They did get fixed, it seemed like, yesterday morning for a little bit, but then during stream last night and again this morning, they're back to being small and uh, not sure if that's helping with how things are spawning in the game but they are spawning fairly well so I mean if it's working it's working I do know there are a couple issues in the game that people are having like the trader issue uh, hopefully that Rockstar is working on getting that fixed uh, for case by case as I do know on stream last night we had someone mention that they were finally able to buy the trader role so I think it might slowly be getting fixed that would be great to hear because uh we definitely want everyone to be able to jump into the game and actually play and buy these roles and have fun. So there we go. We got three new clothing items. We got a new milky. Is it milky or just milk? Let's see. Let me check. It's the milk. The milk coyote. He has a milky coat. I knew I saw the word milky in here at some point. But we have some uh, discounts by doing side missions and sampling the milk coyote. Also, two times XP, cash, and gold by doing any of the hardcore shootout series modes. Um, you should be able to join those by the quick join menu and uh, definitely get a free shirt when you uh, play anytime this week. That's all we got this week, Cowpoke. It's okay, not too bad. I mean, it could be worse, right? Last week, all we got was a legendary animal and no bonuses. So this week, we got a new siding mission from Harriet and I actually did it, it was a little bit longer than the Bandit Gator. So that's a little better, but uh, not the greatest not not as big as like like the 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 sighting mission for the mesa cougar that one takes forever it's still pretty quick and uh we got some bonuses on some hardcore missions two times gold that's where it's at get your gold ranked up do the do this hardcore this week and do your dailies 
because uh, you know there's supposed to be some pretty crazy stuff that costs gold coming up at some point in the future. Could be now, could be this year, could be next year, who knows, but grind that gold. Hey, Calpoke, if you like this video, make sure to smash the like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, and just good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime, but until then, see you later.